WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. It's 10 a.m. on Tuesday, 30 minutes into the trading day. We got markets starting off to the downside. Dow Jones, negative 74 points, trading at 27,147. S&P's right now, negative by about 11, trading at 3,009. NASDAQ negative by 44 points, trading at 82.48. We get the VIX trading a little bit higher this morning with the market pulling back. We're going to start it off with the VIX. VIX up 7%, trading at 13.82, had reached 14.18 as of this morning. We'll start it off. We'll jump over to the futures markets. Big day, of course. We start the Fed meeting today. They have an announcement tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern time, a cut all but assured. The only real conversation be between 25 and 50 basis points. We'll see what happens. We got a lot of earnings going on as well. Dow Jones, 27,123, looking at the September futures contract, slightly off the lows of about 27,045, right at the opening bell. NASDAQ 100 getting a pop from 930 as well. We were down there at about 79.33. We're now up about 30 NASDAQ 100 points, trading 79.63. S&P 500 trading at 3,011. You can see the slide begins at about 1 a.m. Eastern time from 3,025. We go down to a low right at the opening bell of 3,001. We're now up more than 10 S&P points from that price level as we're trading higher across the board of the indices. Gold contract catching quite a bid. We reach a high of 14.43, right at about 8.30 this morning. Pulling back a bit, you have gold trading at 14.38. Crude oil, 57.28. We were up there at about 57.41 at 6.30 a.m. Eastern time. And euro U.S. dollar trading at 111.44. In terms of what else you have happening across the market, another data breach. You just got to come to expect these these days, I expect. I guess. Uh, I have a Capital One card. Maybe my info is out there. Capital One shares diving after a data breach affecting 100 million. So they're saying that the information likely not used in any um, nefarious actions, but it's out there. You don't really know. Other news, Beyond Meat last night come out with their earnings. Not bad on earnings, but they're going to do a secondary offering. They're also letting their CEO and other executives sell their shares before the lockup. Not what you want to hear, right? Not what you want to hear at all. And we jump over, B-Y-N-D. I mean, if you're the CEO of a thriving company, you're not going to sell your shares before they're going to rise up. Beyond Meat down 15%, 188. Stay tuned, folks. Come back at 10 o'clock with Tom. Fast Market at 11. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. Have a great Tuesday.